Hi there, this is Jim the Keys Bartender, and this is a special episode I just wanted to share. I did, uh, I woke up early around 5, and I did my morning meditations, and uh, I've been trying, instead of doing, uh, you know, seeking medicinal ways of doing things, and I apologize, I, I keep kind of a meditation thing going in the background, I try to do more uh, presence of mind, uh, in, in, intentional uh, things like meditation, uh, and, and the calming, and thinking about the day ahead and what I want to do, planning my day. And today, I'd like to offer uh, my listeners, if you want to, and it's not for everyone. It's not all comedy and stuff like that. It's uh, we do have to live our lives, and I'm going to call this "Be the Best Bartender." And it's not just for bartenders, because it's for lawyers, plumbers, nurses, peace officers, teachers, students, regular everyday people. Um, how do you walk into the day? Do you walk into it like you own it? I'm not trying to be a motivational speaker. Uh, a speaker. I'm just speaking from the the only truth I know right now, and I know now that when I wake up, I realize that uh, I have. Uh, Just now, there's no yesterday, there's no tomorrow, even though we will, we live most of our lives uh, thinking that, uh, you know, the past, uh, we think about that, which we can't do anything about the past. And then we plan for the future, but we give little reflection to what's going on right now. And all I try to do today is think about what I'm going to do today, how I am right now. And I just want to walk into it like I own the day for myself. And uh, I'm going to do my best today. I'm going to enjoy myself today. I will bring happiness to the people around me. That's what I think. And uh, in order to do that, I have to be present and ready and and joyful about it. Sounds kind of wishy-washy, but that's just the way it is. I... uh, I'm just going in the bartend today, but that's not what the the other things I'm doing with the podcast and and my writing and my uh, fitness instructor, my family, they're all, that's my life. But when I'm at work, I try to give my, my best self to that job. There's nothing else at that time. I can, uh, if the, if I do my job really well, I'm, at peace, if I can just be able to get into this natural flow where I'm in a almost like the Tesla self-driving car mode, where something and then sometimes they, you know, with a Tesla, sometimes they crash, but more often than not, they know what they're going to do, and I'm just going to be present and focused as a person in the car I can focus on the things going on around me. I could do the things I need to make the drink before perform tasks that you may consider meaning. Uh, meaningless or uh, menial. They're, they have meaning. Every task we do in a day, pouring a cup of coffee, laying out a napkin, doing anything, they, they, could ha- they do have meaning and a purpose. We give them, when we make a drink, we're doing, satisfying a person's thirst. You know, they, people um, come in to eat, take their order. Uh, they may just want to share something they happened to them today. And I'm not saying that you're not you're not a missionary or anything like that, but you are. If you if you do your best at whatever your job is, you, and you, and you do it with uh, happiness, and lightness, and realizing that the people in front of you, you know, like being able to be empathetic and see the person in front of you, and realize uh, you can realize you are no better. Or no worse than anybody in front of you. And you recognize that that person in front of you is the same as you. They have, they live their life their own way. And it's not uh, whether someone around you, they could, after you start thinking this way, you may have people around you that scoff at you and make fun of you and you're trying to do, you know, what you're trying to do. Don't let people bring you down. It, they're no better or worse than you. They are uh, just living the, white, the life they only know how to live at this time. 
but you can be a demonstration to them on how to uh, be. Not how to live their life, just how to be a state of mind. And you can share with them, you can listen to them. I'm not saying you can't, you can't allow yourself to be, let's say, there's, I hate to use the word toxic, but people live, they bring their garbage with them sometimes with them and they carry it around and kind of ooze it out. And they live in that uh, state of being where it's all bad. You could be in, uh, Oscar Wilde said, we are, are all in the gutter. We are all in the gutter. That's you mean humans. But some of us are looking up at the stars. Meaning, no matter how bad your situation is, you can better it. You can better that situation. You can be in the worst situation in the world. The worst. Your state of mind can better it. It will not, may not now this is the, the tough part, it may not necessarily help you get out of that situation. You may end up, if, it, it's, if you are in a situation where it ends with your demise, the ultimate, the ultimate bad ending, you can decide how that ending's going to be. Whether it's going to be the most with terror or in hope of a... If you're, you're a believer in one of the great religious traditions, you can have hope for the, the afterlife you envision. If you're more of a universalist, like someone that believes in the spirit and stuff like that, you say, well, I'm, I'm going to be free. I'll be a one with the spirit. There's the law of uh, entropy... There's no, there's no real loss of energy. There's no, when, when things disappear, supposedly in science tells us that things don't necessarily disappear. So your state of mind in the worst situations can better your situation. And in everyday situations, because we are not all in the chance of dying all the time or fearful of accidents, we can better an okay situation and make it a beautiful time. So it doesn't really matter. And that's all I'm saying today. So when you, to, in order to be the best bartender, the best nurse, the best pretzel salesman on the corner of Philadelphia, you know, we live our life joyfully. We enjoy the day. We bring happiness to the people around us. We try to smile. Some people won't accept it. Like I said, they're living on their own. They're living in their their own life. That's not your problem. Let them live their life the way they want to. Offer them an opportunity to participate in your joy. If they scoff and laugh at you, let it pass around you as if it were a breeze. Because it really doesn't need to affect you what someone thinks of you. I'm not saying you can't go out there and be crazy thinking you're Napoleon or the second coming of Elvis, which you may or may not be. I don't know. I can only, I only know around you that if you don't, you don't sound like Elvis and, uh, you know, you're, you could be Napoleon of the, you know, your parking lot security guard. You're not necessarily Napoleon, but you'd be a great, be a wonderful parking lot security guard. And, um, uh, you, and just remember, your biggest, your ultimate goal may be to just demonstrate to yourself when you come, when these people come off, these people that scoff at you and make fun of you, just demonstrate the peace of mind that you have and that you're ever, you're always able to turn it around. And you begin the day, every moment you live this day. You're going to be the best you are you're going to be happy about it. You're going to try so hard and be so proud of yourself in the end. Just trying to do that. And I know it sounds mushy and wishy-washy. But what alternative do you have? Is the alternative to say, well, that's fucking bullshit. I don't need that. You're full of shit. Look at you. Look where you live. Look at the friends you have. Look at the health that you have. Why couldn't you be happy? You should be happy. Well, yeah, I know, but why shouldn't you be happy? The way I'm saying it, if I'm going to be the best person, if I'm working with someone else, let's say I'm another person working with me, another bartender, why can't they be their best too? 
other people shining does not detract from my brilliance. It just makes it twice as brighter. I'm not here just to make other people better. I'm better because of the other people. I'm better when someone comes in and they're down. And I'm able to maintain my thing and ha- help them reach a peace of mind or an awareness. I'm better because of that. So sometimes when negative situations occur, the way I react to them and the way I feel about them and the way it resolves itself adds to my growth and their growth. And we can all do it together. I'm not your savior. I'm not your advisor. I'm not your teacher. I can only be the best that I can be today. Some days I'm better prepared than others. Some nights I don't sleep as well. But when I'm sl- when I'm at peace, I'm rested, and I'm en- energetic, my job is to go in there and kill it and be as brilliant as I can. And be as happy as I can. Be supportive as I can. And I know it sounds a little wishy-washy and stuff like that. But we will come in contact with people that it's bad. It's bad for them. They're at their lowest. It brings me to mind of this movie. It's, uh, it was about five, six years ago, I think. It was called All is Lost. Robert Redford started. It's about a solo yachtsman. And there's very little dialogue that goes on to it. And I'm going to, it's a spoiler alert. If you'd like to stop listening to podcasts right now and watch this movie, please do. Because it has a great ending. A great ending. So I'm going to just spoil it right now. and just gave you an opportunity to pause and stop it. And this will be what ties up the podcast. So I'm going to do the whole plot line. Solo Yachtsman going around the world. Very little dialogue going on in there. And his yacht is capsized and eventually founders. He, he retrieves as many things and his life raft as he has and, and is able to sort of, uh, you know, have his supplies on the life raft. They look like he's, he's just struggling to stay alive, struggling to stay alive. And he has, uh, there's boats in the distance. He tries to signal they don't come around. There's, there's big ships that go around that don't see him. And he's just lost at sea. It's a metaphor for life. And he sees, towards the end of the movie, he uh, sees a lights in the distance. And he's, all he thinks he's going to do is build a fire in his, the cooler he has left. And he builds a fire in there. And the fire goes, gets out of hand and it engulfs the raft. And he thinks, well, this is it. His raft is going down. It's on fire. He has to jump off. And he just decides to sink. In the, it's nighttime and he's sinking downward looking up at the top of the ocean and sinking down desolate forlorn ready to die then all of a sudden there's a noise and there's approaching light from above flashlights and he starts rising to the top he's not giving up now and it ends with a hand coming down into the water and grabbing his. Oh, man, I'm just telling you, I I get choked up just thinking about it. I mean, that's life. The worst times. It's the people that work at the suicide hotlines. It's that friend that knocks on your door when you haven't been seen for a while and comes in and takes you out to lunch. It's that parent that takes time off from work because their child's not feeling well and may not be feeling really good about themselves. And they're in college and they say, you know what, I'm going to go up to school. I'm going to spend some time with them and tell them how much I care about them and how important they are to me. There are times when people are low and stuff like that. It's a two-way street. We got people that come out to help us and we got people that need to be saved but they got to be able to reach up too. Remember, if they don't reach up if they decide to sink to the bottom, it's almost impossible for us to take care of them. It's 
it's a failure to thrive. But if you, you can bring that awareness to people and help them, you can be the best and be your best all the time. And it's not always pulling someone, saving someone from killing themselves. It's making someone a little happier today and doing our job well and making the people around us happier. And, and that'll make you happy. That will make you happy and you will have a good life. This is Jim the Keys bartender. Um, I'm going to try to do this more often, but I, it's not all about jokes and laughs. And uh, I know I don't always have the peace of mind. I do lose it sometimes, but you don't have to. There are moments when you can be at peace. Doesn't make you a hypocrite. Just try your best. And the more you do it, the more you're aware that you can do it. Just like exercise. Goodbye. Have a great day.